This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 10.6.7. Administrators can now set rubrics to open in a particular window style, dialog, or pop-up, independent of instructor's account settings. This feature implements PI item D2737. Use the D2L, Tools, Dropbox, Rubric window style configuration variable to change the way that rubrics display when instructors open them for assessment in the Assignments tool. For new clients, the single user member specific group category is now turned on by default. For new clients, the D2L, Tools, Groups, Allow Single User Named Groups configuration variable is turned on by default to enable the single user member specific group category. For existing clients, the configuration variable value that is already established persists. This update does not change the value of the configuration variable, that is, whether users can see this option or not in their existing instance of Brightspace Learning Environment. Users can now copy content from a Microsoft Word document or HTML source, and it retains the look and feel of the source document when pasted into Brightspace Learning Environment. This feature implements PI item D2627. For example, in content, you can paste the source into the body of the file. Then, click Keep Formatting. The source formatting will be duplicated in the file. New features and functionality have been introduced for intelligent agents. This feature implements PI items D1156 and D2664. Scheduled intelligent agents stop running and are automatically disabled if the course is inactive, over, and date passed, or deleted. You can still set up a practice run or a manual run of an intelligent agent at any time in a course with a past end date. Users can now select and delete multiple agents on the Agent List page. Then click Delete and confirm the deletion of the agents. The new Restore Agents page allows you to restore deleted agents. To restore an agent, click More Actions and select Restore. Deleted agents do not run if they have a recurring schedule. Locate the agent that you want to restore and click Restore from the Action column. Return to the Agent List to view the restored agent. All restored agents maintain previous properties and history. The Practice Run and Run Now options now work on disabled agents. Now, when you create or edit an intelligent agent, There are three new replace strings available for use when composing the email. Last login date inserts the date the initiating user last logged in or never if they have not logged in. Last course access date inserts the date the initiating user last accessed the course or never if they have not accessed the course. And org unit ID inserts the org unit ID required to make quick links work in emails sent using an agent. There is inline help for replace strings with updated text. Click what replace strings can I use in the subject and message to access this help. The updated text includes the three new replace strings. Click close to return to the agent. The agent list page contains a new column that lists the next run date for scheduled agents. There is no next run date if a schedule is not enabled. The Intelligent Agent setting page now contains information about the time of day scheduled agents will run. From the Agent list, click Settings. The Scheduled Agents Runtime section indicates the time of day the scheduled agents will run. The User Progress tool has been renamed the Class Progress tool to improve language consistency in the Brightspace platform. Related page names, permissions, configuration variables, 
and tool references elsewhere in the Brightspace platform reflect this change. You can now specify a headline and background color for the Brightspace Learning Environment login page. From the Login Page Management tool, update the headline, headline font color, and background color to customize your login page. To ensure Web Content Accessibility Guidelines Level AA Compliance, the Headline Color Picker and Background Color Picker are linked. Click More in either color picker. To view an icon and tooltip message that inform you if the color choices meet WCAG AA standards, select a background color. Then, click OK. To preview your changes, click Preview. This feature does not impact the login page for Brightspace Pulse. When you are ready to implement the modified login page, click Publish. The creation and editing of multiple choice questions in the Quizzes tool has undergone a visual redesign that improves and modernizes the look and feel as well as enables responsive layouts. This feature implements PI items D977, D1452, and D3320. Click Leave it on to opt in to create or edit multiple choice questions using the new Create Edit Multiple Choice Questions user interface. Click Turn it off to return to the original user interface. This feature is dependent on the authentication service microservice in the Brightspace cloud. There is no change to the workflow related to creating and editing multiple choice questions. Turn on the D2L, Tools, Quizzes, New Experience opt-in configuration variable to enable the new multiple choice quizzing experience for instructors.